Hey guys, we're back again today at Hard Racing doing our 2015 Yamaha R3 project bike. And today we're going to be installing this gorgeous Scorpion carbon fiber slip on. It's a full carbon shell, aluminum end cap, all your mounting hardware, connecting tube, easy to follow instructions. And this is definitely a beauty. It's a full straight through, but you do have a little insert in here that you could remove if you want to make a little bit louder exhaust. The quality, the fit, the craftsmanship on this thing is definitely top notch. And that black carbon is just looks great on a darker colored bike. It actually looks great on all the bikes, but overall it's just really, really just a good good quality fit finish and sounding exhaust and the nice thing about the carbon is it doesn't get as hot as the metals do so if you somehow accidentally touched it with the back of your leg your pants your ankle whatever it's not gonna burn your skin off like uh, metals do it's hot but it definitely doesn't burn your skin like uh, aluminum or stainless or titanium so that's definitely an extra benefit of the carbon besides the look and the lighter weight and we'll go ahead and show you how easy it is to install this fire it up let you hear it okay so first thing you want to do is remove your stock muffler so you're going to take an 11 millimeter socket and loosen the clamp on the back side of the muffler okay and once you get that loose you want to slide it off of the connecting tube Okay, so next thing you want to do is remove your muffler hanger bolt, and you do that using a 12 millimeter socket and wrench. Okay, I just weighed this real quick, and it's six pounds even. And compared to the Scorpion, this one's only three pounds, which is half the weight. Okay, so the next step is to install the link pipe and the supply clamp. Okay, and as you can see here, a little trick that we learned a long time ago was to take a little, a little bit of Teflon tape and wrap it around here, and to seal that will seal the joint. And yes, that is the same Teflon tape that plumbers use. So you're going to slide the tube all the way down until it stops and then hand tighten the clamp. So next you're going to install your supplied bracket using your stock nut and stock bolt. Okay, so you're going to tighten that down, but not all the way so that you can adjust the bracket as needed. Okay, so next we're going to install our canister. And you just want to make sure while you're installing it on the connecting tube, just to support it with your right hand while sliding it onto the tube. Line it up with your bracket here, and then you're going to take your supplied bolt with this conical washer, just like so. You're going to put that in first, then take your supplied washer, put that on. Okay, so now that you've got everything put on, you want to give it a little wiggle, make sure nothing's binding. Really important to make sure that nothing is binding, so just give it a little wiggle and then you can tighten everything up. Okay, so the next step you want to do is to go ahead and install your two springs. Okay, and the last step is going to be tighten down all your bolts.
And the last one you want to tighten is the stock bolt. Okay, so once you get done with that, you just want to double check everything and make sure everything's tightened up. And then we'll fire it up. Okay, so now we've got the bike outside. We're going to go ahead and fire it up. And this is going to be with the insert inside. Now we're going to take the little Allen wrench and unscrew the insert and see what it sounds like without that. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and fire it up without the insert. <laughs> 